Well, hello there. Look who is back. It's me. Hi, everyone. My name is Nadine, and welcome to God in the Home. On this channel, you know God is the foundation on which we build. How are you guys? Um, I am good. Yes, and I am giving God the glory, and I am giving him the praise for yet again waking me up so I have the opportunity to live to see another day. And just to come and meet with my family. I look forward to meeting with you every time. Whether it is morning, noon, or night, wherever you are, it is always a pleasure to be in your household. Okay? So guys, how have you all been? Let me tell you about my week. My week was good. Uh, there was a, a almost not so good part. But then it turned out to be good and I am giving God the praise, the glory and the honor. And I am going to tell you all about it. So we were coming home from work one day this week, guys. And you know, every day there is, oh, the traffic is just terrible. When I tell you terrible, the traffic is terrible. So we were coming home in this long line of traffic and it was taking life forever. So my husband was driving and we apparently... In an effort to get out of the traffic, we made a turn at a point where apparently we should not have taken that turn. So we made that turn to go onto another street. And as luck would have it, you guys, as we made the turn, who should step out in the street but a police officer? <laughs> as we made that turn, a police officer stepped up and his hand up, beckoning us to stop. So... We stopped, we pulled over and we stopped. And he came up to the window and he said good night. He was very polite, very polite. And he said good night to us, we said good night. And then, you know, he proceeded to say, I mean, you realize that you made a, 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 a turn that you should not have made. It was a very dangerous turn, apparently. As a matter of fact, illegal. We should not have turned there. And um, he, he was saying to us how dangerous it is that we made that turn over and over. He witnessed persons, you know, accident and uh, it, it, it could have been something, you know. So he went on to say that, you know, after having said all of that, he then said, but, you know, I'm going to be letting you off with a warning. I'm going to be letting you off with a warning. And don't do that again because this is a very dangerous um, turn that you made and you could lose your lives and all of that and whatever. We were most grateful and gracious because, hello, <sighs> to go pay a ticket right now that I can't even afford to pay. But anyways, <laughs> we were so grateful that he, he um, said that he was going to let us off with a warning not to do it the next time. But right there and then, as he bids us good night and safe travel for the rest of the journey, the Holy Spirit started to minister to me. And I just heard in my spirit, grace. I just heard grace. And then right there, I started praying silently in my heart. I was just praying and saying, thank you, God, for your grace. Thank you, God, for your grace. And I was just saying to myself, for a good distance, all the way home, basically, you know, just thank you, God, for the grace that you have shown just now. And as I was looking at it, guys, it's like it, it take me, it take me to this point that I'm now going to make in life. Sometimes we made, we make some decision, we take some turns that sometimes we know we're not to take those turns. You know? We know we're not supposed to take them. And then we take it. And then we end up in a path that is going to lead us now into some form of destruction. Not the end, the result is not going to be good. So what, whatever you're doing, whatever, all of us, my, myself included, anything at all that you're going, doing, which is breaking the law of God. And like the police officer stepped out and beckoned us to stop, so would the Holy Spirit speak to our consciences from time to time for us to stop on that path that we are on. Stop going down that road to destruction, you know? And then he would convict us. We know that we're not supposed to do it. And grace is extended to us right there and then for us to repent 
repent, and God, like the police officer, would extend grace unto us for those things that we were doing, we were heading towards, that was not going to come out to any good end. Romans 5 and verse 20 tells us that where sin abounded, grace much more abounds. So family, it doesn't matter how far gone you think you are in sin. You that are hearing me, you that are listening to me right now, speaking to myself too, it doesn't matter how far gone we think we are in sin. Grace is sufficient. God's grace will always be greater than the amount of sin that you think you have accumulated over the years and you think that you're at a point of no return. Mm -mm. God, where sin abounded, God's grace much more abounds. God's grace cannot and will never be overwhelmed by our own sinfulness. It will never be. And you know that song, I love, I love that song too, it's one of my favorites. I have no favorite song, I'm sure she will have no favorite song too. But I love this song that says, grace will always, always be greater than sin. Come back, we sing it. Grace will always be greater than sin. Calvary has proven it time and again. Listen to this part. Whatever you've done and, what it, and wherever you've been, God's grace will always be greater than sin. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all my sins. So whatever you've done and wherever you've been, God's grace will always be greater than sin. Yes, family, it doesn't matter how far gone you think you are in sin. Whatever you have done and wherever you have been, know that your sin cannot outweigh God's grace. His grace is always greater than your sin, than my sin. Where sin abound, grace so much more abounds. Have a great week, family, and I love you all. Let's all repent of all of our sin and accept God's grace this week and onward. Bye.